We've seen you do side work for you know much of the practices. I guess kind of first off, get us caught up on where you're at, and, mm -hmm. and you'd be ready to go for the opener, etc. Oh, most definitely, I'd be ready for the opener. I'll be actually be back to uh, tomorrow. Um, I've been dealing with vertigo, so it's you know kind of kind of hard dealing with that. But uh, I wasn't really feeling myself like myself last week, but now I'm I'm, I'm back better and uh, ready to back help the team. Yeah, obviously that's got to be pretty weird, right? I guess just first off, what did you think when it happened and how have you been dealing with it? Um, I was like, so when they first told me, I didn't know what it was like ever. So I looked it up and then it was the exact symptoms. And um, it was kind of hard, you know, being at home, laying down and just getting real, real dizzy and stuff like that. But uh, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's past me. Um, I, get, I took the medicine, uh, got the crystals back in line. So everything's going to be good now. Crystals in your ears or something? Mm -hmm. that's, that's nuts, huh? Yeah, it's crazy. Like, <laughs> just having to deal with that. We've seen the defensive backfield make strides mm -hmm. over the last week, I guess. Obviously, it's disheartening when practice first starts and you guys got to kind of behind the offense. I guess just speak to the, the amount of pride that you're taking now that the defense kind of settling in and, and getting their feet underneath them and being competitive at practice. Most definitely. You know, I had to talk with the guys today after practice. You know, we got to keep going out there each and every day and try to act like we're the best secondary in the country, which I firmly believe that we are. And, um, we got to keep putting that work each and every day, uh, playing with confidence each and every play, not just some plays, but uh, each and every play. And I feel like definitely coming along as a unit, and it, it, it's showing throughout these practices. While you've been out, have you had a different perspective? Can you see things a little differently that maybe helps them after practice? Most definitely, just seeing little things, like more communication, little things that we need to work on as a unit. And um, I feel like that's, that's helping us a lot, giving my input on, you know, me, me being an older guy, veteran playing here, uh, actually, they're actually listening and uh, taking it into account. Two new corners. What are you seeing on the on the outside? Oh uh, man, I, I'm seeing as we ball hawk until from Deuce. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I feel like he's he's a great player. He's gonna be a, a good help addition to us. And um, they also work in Sage Ryan at corner. And I feel like he's gonna be good there too. Zai on the other side. Oh Zai, yeah, he's he's going. He's been balling since spring, so you know, not too much to say about that. You had that big play against Auburn where you ripped the ball out late in the contest. Coach House on Saturday talked about the need to get more turnovers this year, and that's a big emphasis at practice. Can you speak to that and what you guys are doing? Most definitely, just scooping every ball up, even if it's an incomplete play, scooping everything, just getting in the habit of picking the ball up, you know what I'm saying, having the ball in your hands, and I feel like uh, we're definitely getting better at that. You know, we obviously have missed opportunities at that today, but uh, got to keep going and keep building that habit. And the uh, third down, Defense. I think the opponents were 39 percent, and Coach House says that's that's too high. Is mm -hmm. that another thing that uh, he said you guys have really been talking a lot about? Oh yeah, just being more aggressive. Like I said, playing with more confidence on third down, being playing tighter on body coverage, and uh, just being more aggressive with that. And I definitely think we'll uh, be better at that this year. You were one of the new players a year ago. There were so many new players last year, and there are some this year. But you guys more comfortable, know what to expect. Um, you know, as a team. This year? Yeah, I would say that this year, you know, uh, especially last year, you know, nobody really knew what, what we were getting ourselves into, probably even y'all. So um, I feel like this year is, is, is great. We have a better bond throughout the team, and uh, I feel like it's going to be good. Uh, Andre Sam's really stood out in practice so far. What does having like a third veteran safety out there really do for y'all's uh, versatility on defense? It's nice, you know. I, I love it. It's gonna allow me to play more positions. So um, and, and Jerry's been balling, you know. Shout out to him, man. And uh, he he comes in every day, works hard. So I feel like it's, it's a great addition for us, and uh, very good on the back end for us. Let's talk about the receivers that you're going up against a little bit. What are you seeing in them? Obviously. That first four, if you throw Mason in there, really will be a challenge, I think, for a lot of defenses. Oh, yeah, most definitely. They, I mean, they go out there. They work hard each and every day. Obviously, you got Malik, Kyron, and uh, BT, and obviously Mason. But they got some young guys stepping up, too, that I think will be good. Like Aaron Evers going to be, man, you throw him a little screen, you know, he might take it to the crib. So, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, uh, I feel like those guys are definitely stepping up, working hard each and every day. Is, is Aaron a safety nightmare? Because once he gets in the middle, it's... Um, I probably have to say, uh, yeah, he is. I'm not gonna say too much, but yeah, he is. What, what about his game? Obviously, he's small, right? So mm -hmm. it's hard to find first off, but then he's quick. Yeah, so I, I feel like quick game is what suits him the best. You know what I'm saying? I, and um, you get him the ball in space, let him do what he do. You know what I'm saying? He's one of those guys just give him the ball. So I feel like that he's gonna be a huge key, key to our offense this year. We just talked to Chris, obviously Brian, both very quiet guys, at least around us. I don't know what they're like out there on the field, but. 
What do you see for them this year? Is this like kind of a breakout opportunity for them with a lot of the attention that's going to go to Malik or Kyron? Most definitely. And I think BT is just us up there with Kyron and uh, Malik. And, you know, Chris has been getting a hell of a lot better since last year. You know, obviously, you know, burner guy. But BT, BT is really good. Chris is good as well. So I feel like both of those guys are definitely going to have breakout years. Tell me about Major, I guess, and just coming back from injury. What has he been like? Obviously, he's a big talk guy. But, you know, is, is, is he key to kind of keeping you all lined up back there? Most definitely, you know what I'm saying? I, I talk to Major all the time, man. Just, you know, uh, it's me and you, man. Like, you know, we, we the ones that's been here, seen what it's done, and um, just just keeping the level head with everything, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, keeping everything, like, whenever whenever Major has a problem, I'm, I'm, I'm there for him, you know what I'm saying? To help him out, talk to him, get him right. So I uh, feel like he's definitely taking that step, and uh, he's definitely helping us in that back end. Uh, the AP Top 25 came out today. You're number five in that poll. So if you're a top five team in both polls, do things like that excite the team or you're just in this building practice and <laughs> that's it? Just in this building practice, you know what I'm saying? We don't listen to outside noise, you know what I'm saying? That's how you get, that's how you get caught up into it a lot, you know what I'm saying? Last year we weren't ranked, obviously, you know, you just, and you see what happened towards the end. So uh, I feel like we can't pay attention to that, you know what I'm saying? Obviously it's an honor to be ranked that high, but we can't pay attention to that at all.